It's actually a 1978 Rhodes. It's a stage model. Um, it's in quite good condition considering it's over 40 years old. Uh, it's got all its hardware and it's got this pretty awesome rock lock um, brace for the pedal, which means it doesn't move. Nothing, nothing moves. It doesn't go forward, doesn't go back. It's, it's anchored in there. It's actually fastened. Um, with it's threaded, the uh, feet are threaded through it, which is a bonus piece of equipment, um, which if you don't have one, you know, you can kind of hate life as the pedal slips around. Um, presently also there is just tape over the, tape and cardboard over the, the, the badge so it doesn't get snagged. Um, you know, cause this is just something I don't want to, I didn't want it to get beat up. Chrome corners, latches, handles, those have all been replaced with, um, parts that near Benjamini from Fender Rhodes LA gave me to replace it with. Um, they had been rusty years ago. So all the keys are in good condition and there's only the faintest little chip right here on a C down here. It's a little chip on the corner and that's, that's all of it. Um, the, uh, the action is all leveled by, by near. So that's good. Um, keys are white. There's no burn marks or anything like it. Um, no yellowing. Um, they look beautiful. Like I say, just that one little chip. That's the only, that's the only blemish on all of the keys. Um, considering it's, uh, 78, 44 years old. Uh, the date is 0278. So that means it's, uh, done in early 78. So it's basically a 1977 model because it was done in the second week of 1978. And you know, it's, you can think of it in, in the same line as uh, 77 models. So um, it had been dormant for a long time and I got it and it was in pretty sharp condition. But, um, you know, I, I spent some time and uh, un money. I took it up to near Benjamini at Fender Rhodes LA and he went and did the uh, kind of the necessary catch-ups, which was the, um, the grommets. And this is in 2014. So admittedly, they could be due, but um, it, it does have a good tone because it's not been played out. It's been inside the entire time. Um, I've been in a few different houses since I got it, but throughout it's been in a uh, clean environment. Um, presently I'm in a desert climate, so I hope that hasn't worked against it, but um, it had been in San Diego, San Diego area, so in a mostly humid climate. All the pickups work. There's no dead ones, which is always nice. All the all the felts work, of course. Let's step on the pedal here. You see the felts dip. Well, the uh, damper assembly, I guess. Can run the run the glissando here. Tines, even to the touch, are pretty clean. Um, but, but you know, like I say, if things never been outside, it's never been exposed to the elements, especially in my years. And it was in storage for probably a decade before that, when uh, the previous owner had it. So um, you know, it hasn't been exposed to anything. It's not like it's water damaged or any of that kind of thing. Okay, now with the harp up, you can see all the mechanical bits. So, see all the back checks all the way across. It's been a while since I've actually played this piano, so I don't have a particular feel for it, but 
Last year I, uh, last I played it before I moved house, it was all doing fine. I just, <laughs> right next to it is a, a, a suitcase roads, which I took a liking to because it has the preamp and all that stuff. So um, I started gravitating toward the suitcase roads. Um, so the Sage one kind of sat there, but the Sage one had been getting this back check work, which I put on. Um, and uh, deep within the mechanism here, you can you can kind of see you can see the red bit there. Those are the um, Miracle Mod bumps. So they're they're clear across there. And well, you may find if you want to get really nitpicky that you'd want to um, specifically place them elsewhere. Just you know, slight difference. I mean, we're talking less than a millimeter here. You may find that you wanted to put them in the more optimal position, but they are there. I think you could felt them over and, and uh, get them to do what they're supposed to do. I can tell you that the keys respond so much better than they ever did. You, know, you can see that they don't really flutter. So, yeah, it's, it's a much nicer instrument even than when I picked it up. Um, and uh, Nier Benjamini had replaced, I don't know if it was all the tips or the essential ones, any of the ones that were probably grooved. Um, so all those had been given a refreshing, especially as needed, but I, I don't know the extent of, of what. Um, but I gave, I gave them the direction to you know, recondition it and bring it back up into good working order. Um, so that would have been the grommets and uh, you know, tuning and the whole bit. This right here is a, is a platform I had made for it, just to do this extra little shelf work here, holding up a bunch of stuff. Um, I have the lid top. Uh, the only damage to it really is that there is a, um, there's a puncture that went through the wood. Uh, imagine, if you will, the pretty, pretty heavy slab of plywood that constitutes the case. If there are any other questions, I suppose I could make another video or take some pictures, but that's most of it. You can see it's clean. You can see the... Keys are in good shape. There's good hardware. It's all there. 